everybody. Welcome back to another week of recurring void effects. Today, uh, I am hydrophobic, and doing commentary with me is Frosty the Swole Man. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? How you doing today? Hydro? I'm doing good. It's Friday. Uh, Absolutely. Weekend. I mean, what more can you say about that? Those of us in America, a lot of us have got like a three or four day week because we got the Thanksgiving smack dab in the middle, so... Oh, I'm looking man. forward to the short work week. Bro, I wish I had a three-day week, man. They're making, they're making me come back on Friday, bro. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta come back on Friday. They played me. That's not fair. <laughs> man, that's not fair. Uh, but tonight, so our first set is between Mr. Two Toes, who will be playing in Kidu, and Dark mm -hmm. Hero, who's playing Lene. And so when we were talking about this a little yesterday, you were saying that this is pretty much a 5-5 matchup. Uh, to be honest, I feel like this is probably one of the most 5-5 five, five matchups that there is. Neither character, I feel, really has anything that the other character just cannot deal with. Um, it feels more like a game of rock, paper, scissors, and who picks the proper option, who spaces themselves a bit more appropriately than anything else. Um, Kugas are definitely really good, really good options, but Nikitu has 3C and 4C, uh, 3C and 4C, and, yep. um... TK Kuga, uh, TK Kuga becomes a lot less scary when you can 3C OS because it'll beat the jump move, it'll beat the jump moves as well as beating the, it'll beat the jump moves as well as beating the, um, uh, the Kuga if she chooses to do it because it's projectile invisible and head and bolt. Yep. All right, so let's see, what, what are the round starts here? Pretty tentative. Okay. Yep, just kind of oh. slowly take, slowly feeling his way out. Two toes gets a nice, gets a nice little combo and some dropping it on the back end right there, though. All right. Just harassing with the 60 shockwave. Really good footy tool. Yeah, that was a that was a real good hit for Dark Hero. Took the first Vorpal cycle, which is great, and then puts uh, Two Toes right into the corner. Mm -hmm. Two Toes taking a lot of damage early on. Gets the VO, so he's gonna get. He's pretty much guaranteed himself this next Vorpal cycle right here. Mm -hmm. But uh, he seems like he's struggling to open Dark Hero up at the moment. Don't like yeah. that change shift, though. I'm not a fan of the chain shift, um, because it's basically just gonna drain with the rest of his meter. So he actually didn't do anything except extend the VO. Yeah. And so now he exits VO with no bar. That's a nice TRM though. Ooh, nice roll. All right, dive kick. <laughs> All right, see this. This is why 3 COS is really good because 3 COS would beat that. Lene's dive, uh, dive kick does not have dive properties on it. It's still a head property based move. And 3C, uh, 3COS would beat that as well as the, uh, the TK Kuga if he chose to go for it. All right. All right. Dash up the 2A whiffs. Oof. But he lands right on top of a Kuga. Yeah. All right. 5B, OB. Another VO says get off me. I'm a little worried about. So I, I like, I kind of like that two toes establishing that he's willing to VO early. But the question is oh my god. That the question is, so why does EX Perry whiff there? That's oh, the question. Wow. That was TK. so close. Oh, J, J236C. Ooh, nice TRM. Right, yep, gets thrown into the corner. Too bad that throw wasn't enough to win in the vocal cycle. But getting the grid break on the 2A is more than enough to make up for that. All right. Yeah. Ooh, blocks the overhead. Good blocks from Dark Hero. I, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Two Toes. I, I, I have... I have a confession to make to the rest of the stream. Right before the, right before this stream, I was streaming, and Dark Hero pulled up on me. Uh -oh. He pulled up on me during ranked, and he got a game. He got a, he he played me in a game. I beat him. I beat him. I, but my man was trying to tr was trying to warm up for two toes by sniping my stream, guys. He was trying to pull up and get that pre RVE experience. Um, <laughs> hey. They, the Inky Cats, though. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I think it's been good so far. He's blocked the assaults. He blocked the charge 5C. Uh, he's definitely getting that bare minimum you need to be not hit by the net play stuff so far. Mm -hmm. But I also like that uh, that Two Toes is going for TRMs and things like that. That's, yes. the, stuff, that's the stuff that's going to start changing in the course of the match. The TRMs, uh, Two Toes winning these uh, winning Vorpal Cycles, all this stuff's going to start making him a bit more hesitant and potentially uh, biting on some of these dash up, uh, dash up assault attempts. But right now, Two Toes is holding all of the damage, getting thrown. Nice. Dash up 2A, dash up 2A, 5B. Can't quite end the round, but can still do some. Oh, wait, never mind. Ooh. Wait, cash out? Wait. No, wait. I don't think that kills, does it? No, I don't. Yeah. Oh, okay, just yeah. barely. Okay. Oh, Bagdash is in the corner. Gets over wow. it. Wow. 
and that's and that remember when we were like talking yesterday i was saying like ikidu's basically forced into a position where he can't really use those options yeah. um he basically has to play honest he has played like really honest footsies like high i mean like just mids uh mids and pokes and trying to open her up via staggers because she has that access to that force function that she can just do on reaction in response to the overheads yeah so two toes is gonna have to figure out something a bit more solid because he's not gonna be able to cheese his way he's not gonna be able to cheese his way through the force function yeah i think the the fact that the charge 5c has been blocked means he can't really mm -hmm. cheese his way to any easy damage here so he's gonna have to start opening her up which I mean, this is this is a good start. He did get a bunch of damage off. Oh, nice! Just a damage. Oh no! Oh, two, two. Oh, that was a bad. That was that. That was that chain shift was was bad because he even if say even if he did the chain shift right, he mm -hmm. could have uh, he could have just uh, canceled straight into his uh, infinite worth and he would have still built meter from it because the because the infinite worth would have spent the rest of the vo and then whatever was left of the meter from the chain shift would have still drained and became actual meter. Yeah. Um, Two Toes has got to start. Two Toes has been getting winning these Warple Cycles, even when he's in VO, but he just hasn't been capitalizing off of them properly. Putting himself yeah. at meter disadvantages, putting himself at meter disadvantages, just burning himself out. Um, what do you, what would you like to see from Two Toes going into this next round? Because because he's, he's down 2-0. I mean, this next game, he's down 2-0. Yeah, so I definitely agree. I like the, the TRMs we've been seeing. Uh, honestly, I think... And Kido has pretty good stagger windows, right? Like, yeah, no, really I, I feel nice like that, windows, that is the way he's going to have to open up Dark Hero, is he's going to have to really mix up his staggers and mm -hmm. catch Dark Hero mashing. But I don't feel like Dark Hero's been forced to mash yet. I yeah. I mean, he hasn't been in pressure long enough to really feel like, you know, he has to get out of it by mm -hmm. taking a risk. So I agree. Ooh, oh, it's the, IC, the IC, IC 5C right there. Very uh, two toes. Um, a little fortunate because what Dark Hero did, in order to get the up, in order to get the up slash follow, you have to manually cancel into that. So Dark Hero just canceled too early. Otherwise, Two Toes could have absolutely gotten punished for whipping the IC5C. But Dark Hero finding Dark Hero finding his try right now. 3.7k. That's some really nice damage. Gets the VO, and now we're moving back the other way, pushing to the other side. Oh man, Dark Hero is getting promoted to a promoted to a new position in it with an executive nice. corner office. That was a good throw. And All you know, right. I just realized I don't think I've seen very many green shields out of Dark Hero, and I don't know. I, I'm just realizing, does it feel like he's needed to play to really shield and play the Vorpal gamers? He just kind of getting hits often enough that he's winning these cycles. He's getting hits and he's been teching. He's been getting hits and he's been teching throws. Yeah. Uh, two toes is two toes is relying very heavily on throws. That's something that he kind of that's kind of a, a big part of his play style is he yeah. tries to implement throws. But once you start teching the throws, he'll fall back to overheads. He'll fall back to like a couple strings into overheads, and it just makes his pressure very linear. And yeah. Dark Hero is taking advantage of that right now. Um, Definitely. But right now. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, it definitely feels like after he had that first successful TRM or two, he's been trying to get more of those TRMs, and uh, Dark Hero has been knowing not to, you know, he hasn't just done run-up throw. It's been run-up 2A, 2A, TRM. Mm-hmm. All right. Throwing out the, oh, whiffs to 2B, and I think he might have tried to push something afterwards. 2B does have a lot of recovery, so if you whiff it at that close proximity, it's best just kind of to forego the rest of your turn. It's yeah. better, especially in the position where Mr. Tutos is, it's better just to give that turn up than lose a round. But Definitely. under the third round of this game, gets a 5B, gets a 5B Havoc starter. Tutos can do something really nice with this if he knows what to do. Um, takes, a pretty, takes a pretty solid combo. It's, it's an awkward conversion. It's a very awkward conversion. I give him that. I see 60. Nice. All right. Make something oh, up this. God, this has been. I think this this round would already be over. He has had two drops. It's just kind of. Oh yeah. That I see. I see. I see. Sixty. Like yeah. without spending any bar can be like without spending anything, is like three point four or three point five k. Because you do I see sixty six two three a. Nice. Uh, I see sixty six two three a. Then you five b three c. Blah blah blah. Um, yeah. But yeah. So. But no, good stuff for Mr. Two Toes. I feel, I feel this round though. It was just more Dark Hero not being as cognizant and like, like not just being uh, as aware of the overheads as he was in the previous games. I agree. Because Two Toes, pretty much all of Two Toes' hits outside of a couple came from the overheads. If Dark Hero, Dark Hero can't afford to fall asleep at the wheel, because Mr. Two Toes will go as far as he will let him. 
but all right, right now gets a nice starting off with a really nice opener. Opening yeah. up straight up with the 3.2k. Nice throw. TK Kuga. I don't know. Uh, I think Mr. Two Toast is gonna try and uh, TK dive kick or something. That was a really that was just really weird. I'm not sure exactly what he was going for there. Oh man. Oh, this is rough. That was. Yeah, that was, that was just really good Oki from Dark Hero. Uh, oh, yeah. I think Tutar just really wanted to get out of there. Yeah, he's he's really kind of panicking right now. Hopefully, now that he's in the driver's seat, he's able to do something more, figure something out that's a little more solid. Nice throw tech from Dark Hero. Mm -hmm. Ooh, F oh, I thought he's gonna, oh. I, I thought he's gonna infinite worth. I thought he's gonna go for the infinite worth right there. I thought this oh. was gonna change shit. But man, I, I really think that one of the big stories of this set, one of the big stories of the set, um, if Mr. Tutar lose, loses, is the you know how, how inefficiently he's been using the chain shift yes in his first few games it, it's really really big um it's it it's almost like he basically didn't win the vocal cycle because he didn't get any meter he didn't get any meter from it and he didn't get any and he's not getting any damage from it yeah so it's basically like no one won that vocal cycle nice 4c Ooh, nice 4c yeah yeah, right, see, there's that two hits to TRM again. Mm -hmm. So you feel like, so do you feel like maybe it's time to, like you said, stop the, you said stop with the TRMs and just start going for regular throws at this point? I think so. Get some of those established. Yeah, I think because he's not, he hasn't really mixed it up. I feel like Dark Hero has probably noticed he he just needs to sit and wait for the gold throw. Like again, mm -hmm. one, two, throw. Ooh. Oh wow! All right, here we go. Nice. Havoc Reckless. So when Enkidu erases a projectile with 4C, or if he erases a projectile with 4C, what he can do is he can uh, cancel into a special move, and that's what that's how he got the record to connect right there. Nice. Okay. All right. Really nice. Pushes himself, uh, pushes the opponent all the way to the corner. Mr. Two Toes, that was a good VO. Waited for the assault, got the VO. Can't block, can't block when you're in the air assaulting. Oh, but the force function lets Mr. Two Toes down right there. I, yeah. He was so. The tech, the tech is he. You force function, you force function, you chain shift, you force function, chain shift, and then you go and um, you can actually punish people's backdash if they sit there and block. Um, you're you're still really bust, but if they backdash, you chain shift before you come off the ground, mm -hmm. and then you get the put, and then you can uh actually just punish the backdash out right. But mm -hmm. Mr. Tutos didn't have access to chain shift, and I think he just autopiloted his way into that. Um, that was really I I'm, I'm not quite sure why he went for that one. Um. But either way, Dark Hero up 3-1. Dash up 5A. Really nice conversion off of that. Ooh, 60. Ooh. Oh, he could have oh, con converted off of that. Yeah. He, he could have. He could have. That was uh, that was really close, though. Sometimes you just, honestly, you just don't expect those stray hits to convert. And even with Havoc, maybe your your brain doesn't connect in time to run up with the follow-up. Oh, yeah, man. Like, Havoc, yeah, while it makes it easier for you to convert, it doesn't, you know, make it, you yeah. know, doesn't make it for free. You still have to acknowledge the counter. I mean, the, the trade. Still yes. got it straight. So, oh honestly, God. pretty clean around from Dark Hero here. Yeah. I miss him. I like that he spent it. I like I like that he yeah. decided to go ahead and spend it. Go ahead and yeah, take the absolutely. You, you gain meter so fast that it's, it's honestly not the biggest disadvantage, especially in this matchup. I feel like, you know, coming into it with 200 mm -hmm. to 0 meter is not as big of a disadvantage as it might be in other matchups. I agree. I absolutely agree. Man, right now, Mr. Tutos, uh, Mr. Tutos finding himself in a little bit of trouble. All right, is now on the offensive. Dark Hero starting to bite on these TRMs again, but Mr. Tutos, oh, you know, Mr. Tutos going to the well one too many times at this point. Nice throw, nice throw and in the appropriate direction. Yep. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, I see There's five C. Nice. Uh oh, no, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, Mr. He can end it with combo. this, right? Yep. Good. Awesome. This is a different route right there. All right. Nice IC 236B. Mr. Tutos wasn't able to do anything, even though he did erase part of it with the 4C. He didn't, uh, you don't get all of it because it's multi-hit. All right. Nice staggers. Good pressure. Oh, yeah. wow. The dive kick. Barely whiffed. Mm, that was a good VO. That was a really solid VO. Yeah. 
Dark Hero just sitting down, hunkering down, just playing, playing some solid defense right now. Nice. Gets the Kuga again with 4C. I like that. I like mixing up, because uh, he's definitely tried to bait bait a, a mash with the parry. I like mixing it up with the 4C, because you know Linne? Like, yep. a lot of Fireball characters want to go in. If you're far enough away, they want to lead with the Fireball, because that's safest for them. So, I mean, it didn't work out for him in the whole round, but no, I really I like the idea. No, I, abs I absolutely agree, man. I absolutely agree. But right now, it is 4-1. And Mr. Tutos... Just needs to slow down. Just needs to slow down. He needs to reevaluate. Needs to reevaluate his offense. I think. I think that's the big thing. I think his offense. I think. I think his offense right now is just. It's really linear. He's, yeah. he's playing way too hard for the. He's playing way, way, way too hard for the TRMs. Go for the dash up assaults. Go for the dash up. Uh, you know, go for dash up. Um, back dash. You know, run up back dash. Try and bait the OS. Yeah. Try and bait the OS. Try and bait the. Try and bait the whiff throw. Like. You, you even, have to change the off the looks that you're giving your opponent. Even just run up and throw. I agree. I agree. Ooh, Assault JC connects right there. Yeah, because I don't think we've seen the run up throw. Like, Dark Hero? Definitely. Uh, Mr. Tutos? I don't think it's done it at all, this you entire know, set yet. But you know, the interesting thing is I don't feel like Dark Hero's thrown very much at all. He's done it occasionally, like, but it's usually once he's already gotten Mr. Tutos towards the corner. Ooh, good uh, luck. Like, he's gotten him near the corner. It's been a couple times otherwise, but... Yeah, Mr. Tutos just really got to switch this offense up. 4C, yeah. hurt box retraction. All right, let's go. Whips the combo, but still is made, uh, whips the extension, but he still manages to win the Warple Cycle. Nice. Just throwing out the 4C. He even oh. remembers to CS. He, he wants to get that meter. Absolutely, absolutely. That was really, that was really good little, a minor decision that's yeah. going to help him out in the next round. Take that meter with you, but you don't take the grid with you. Right now, my man's getting taken to the nice. corner. Look Ooh, at that oh, anti shit. there. All right, two CCC. Yep, he did that because two CCC and uh, five CCC actually still grid from the opponent. Nice. Oh man, Mr. Tutos could have had it. Like, there's a mix-up that's to be had out of that. Um, but I think maybe he was just trying to. He's probably just trying to grab a shield. Ooh. Ooh, good block string catches him standing. Absolutely. T, and that's what I was talking about. That's that was actual, it, yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. Misses the link. Um, If you do IC60, you can actually just link straight into 2A, which is what Mr. Tutos is trying. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, in that situation, it was probably a bit on the safer end to just uh, OS. I mean, just throw out the 2-2-B anyway, because it's a lot It's a lot more It's a lot more stable. Yeah. All right. Right now, I actually, I think Dark Hero just wins this round, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Because this wasn't that. Yeah, because it wasn't Sivo. It was just regular. It was regular. Um, uh, right. Bell off. So, so yeah. So we go into this. No, no resources for either player. So we're in an even, very even spot in this one-one game. I mean, we were until you know, Mr. Tutos got the havoc. Got the, you know, the yeah. havoc assault JC. But we are moving back to mid-screen. Another thing we haven't really talked about though is Mr. Tutos is backdashing an awful lot. Yeah. Um, uh, an awful, awful lot. Yeah, I don't feel like he's always necessarily backdashing to to try to dodge something. He's trying to. It, it feels like he's trying to create space to just kind of give himself a room to breathe. Oh no, mm, misses the vo. Not like this. Yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he's very comfortable defensively against the the offense that um, Dark Hero is presenting. I don't know if it's a Linne thing or if it's just really the way Dark Hero is playing right now. Oh, oh no. good tech. Oh, he good. steals it. Nice. That was. I, I don't I don't agree with that throw from Dark Hero. I I, I don't agree. It was it was too risky in terms of the vocal cycle. If he right. just waited a bit, he could have closed that cycle out. But right now, Mr. Tutos on the offensive. That's the first DP we've seen out of Linne. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh no, he's woken up with a six two three A's, six two three A and two three six C. Did he? Times. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's done it a couple times. Oh man. Damn. Oh, that's rough right there. Five one right now. Mr. Tutos, Mr. Tutos getting getting clipped. He's getting clipped. Just trying to move around. He's trying to he's trying to get out of pressure any way yeah. he can, except blocking his way out. Right, he's and honestly, blocking a little more and shielding would give him the Vorpal, give him a chance mm -hmm. to CS and maybe try to do some reversal in the gaps because it's mm -hmm. it's not like Linne's pressure is entirely gapless here. Certainly, what she's been showing hasn't been gapless. Agreed. Absolutely. 
All right, well, dash up 5-8. Kind of a couple of, you know, meaningless love taps. Finally yeah. finds a clean hit. Now he's going to get some damage, and he's going to get the corner positioning. TK Kuga, TK Kuga. Plus a million right in his face. Oh, yeah. Nothing you can do about that, man. No. Well, actually, next, actually, you know, the funny thing is, like, so when he goes for the TK Kuga into the TK Kuga, you can 3C. Like, that's oh, why 3C. Really? Oh, that's good. You can 3C. That's not plus enough to where you can't 3C. Projectile and Vol, um, Projectile and Vol and 3C starts up, like, like, it's, it's not quite, it's, like, five frames, I want to say. Five frames. Mm -hmm. So you can just roll, you can just 3C OS through that. Oh, all right. Just playing oh, footsies right now. I like what Mr. Tutos is doing. He's trying to bait. He's trying to bait out the chain shift. He's trying to bait out the chain shift so, uh, in a way that doesn't allow him to. That, that doesn't leave him open to be oh. No. Ends up, yeah, ends up eating. Ends up eating the five C into Kuga, and that's going to be the rest of the round. Yeah, he whips the parry there. Mhm. Mm round start whips to two C. No punish from Mr. Tutos. All right. Good hit from Dark Hero. I'm really liking Dark Hero's uh, Abare. My man's conversions are really, really nice. Yes. He's, he's converting off like nearly every straight hit. <sighs> yeah. All right. Oh my God, this hurts so much. <laughs> that that EX Kuga minimum scaling, man. Oh. Oh, that's the round. Oh yeah, that's definitely yeah. round. He's got he's got Vorpal too, so he could CO if he wanted. Mm-hmm. But just decides to keep it nice and simple. Goes for the EX Kuga, uh, the yep. EX Kuga extension. Goes ahead and ends around with the per ends around with the perfect. Um, he is up six one. Mister Two Toes needs to find needs to find something, and he needs to find it now. He doesn't have any more games, you know, to yeah. search for what the answer is. Um, There's been a lot of. I think Mister Two Toes has had a lot of good stuff throughout this set. It's just he's not cycling through his options enough. I. He has, I don't know, I, I want to count how many times he's TRM this, this set because that seems to be one of the main ways he's trying to open up his opponent and it's mm -hmm. it's not working. And the more you do it, the more, I think, the more obvious it becomes and the easier it is to just deal with it. And yeah, he's, he's, just, he's just really, I, I feel like he's just really, I don't know why he's overly reliant on the throw, why he's being overly reliant on the, on the um, TRM attempts. But, yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's giving away grid. It's just giving Dark Hero grid for free at this point, and it's not paying dividends. Even even when it does land, it's really not that much damage. It's not worth investing so much time in. No. Um, but Dark Hero, Dark Hero has his corner positioning. He has the juggles. He's gonna go into another EX Kuga. Wasn't enough to kill. Spent 200 meters. Still alive. Uh, Two stands clipped. up. Stands straight up into a 5A. Yep. And it's gonna be that round. This is actually set point for Dark Hero, so Mr. Tutos has to do something. He's clip back. back dash, yeah. He's clip back dashing, man. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, he's going to steal this cycle. Yep, nice All concentrate. Right. Just secure the Vorpal cycle for himself. Empty, nice. uh, with JA, with JA 2A connects. Whips to 6C, messes up the combo right now. Mr. Tutos might be feeling the heat a little bit. EX oh, parry. No. Kuga was already Kuga had already covered, recovered by that point. Two three six C, um, I, I feel would have been a more appropriate option in that scenario. It would have beat any jump move she went for. Would have beat any jump move she went for, and it also would have beaten out the uh, Kuga. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, dive kick. Oh man, oh, this is drops it. Oh my gosh, he, he's just he's just overly relying on the he's overly relying on the overheads at the moment, man. Like. Like that's what I was saying. It's like once the throw game doesn't work for Mr. Two Toes, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna go for the overheads. He's gonna go for the two, go for the cheese. You know what I mean? The IC six, right. the two A IC six C, the two A IC five C, and he's just not comfortable playing a solid like like just a more solid offensive game. Um, I, I really would have liked to have seen Two Toes just be a little like like a little more versatile, just a little more versatile present the threat of the throw represent the threat of the throw from different angles um you know try and go for try and go for maybe some different block strings and not block string into the same things over and over um dark hero did a really good job capitalizing yeah. on all of those things like he did a really good job like at first he got trm'd a couple times and he was like oh wait he's like this is oh so this is what's going on so yeah. so this is what's going on right now all right well you know we're not gonna let that happen anymore 
Um, he, he did that, and then he noticed two toes like to back dash a lot, so he would run up and he'd throw a cougar, run up, throw a cougar, run up six six C, um, run up six six C to clip the back dashes that two toes was throwing. It was just throwing out, mm-hmm. and it just kind of shut two toes down on all axes. He couldn't he couldn't get his he couldn't get his throw game going. He couldn't get his de- he he wouldn't sit down and play defense. He was just he was just stuck, and Dark Hero took full advantage of it. Yeah, and uh, I think. I appreciate that there was a lot of adaptation that went on this set. I think um, as Dark Hero kind of identified what what was being done to him, he started being a lot better about reacting to all of it. And that's that's one of the great things about playing a long set uh, as opposed to just like a a best of one is you can kind of see what your opponent is doing and maybe they catch you with some tricks in the first couple rounds, but you have a chance to really work around what you're doing or work around what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh th- yeah. Uh, we're also getting the the word from production that Kuga dash cancel is minus, and it was not getting called out in that yeah. set, which you is know, true. You know, and and I, I I I think I think another thing like the big thing like I called it early on in the set was just uh, chain shift, chain shift having no value. Definitely. Change ship getting getting no getting no value. Um it, it, whether it be meter, whether it be frame advantage, it was just you know, t- uh, Mr. Tuto was just doing it in really awkward places to where he really didn't make anything of it. And then mm-hmm. there were a couple times where he chain shifted and uh Dark Hero was in the process of doing something, but Mr. Tuto just didn't respond to the situation. Um I hope Mr. Tuto's come gets an opportunity to come back because I feel like he can learn a lot he can take a lot from this set and he can do a mm-hmm. lot better than what he did today but yeah. today, you know today dark hero comes out on top he played really well uh defensively and offensively and like you said he adjusted made several adjustments throughout the course of the set and, and he deserved it he absolutely deserved the win uh, yeah and again i i want to say i felt like mr tutos did a lot of really good stuff in that set it just was not rotating between his options often mm-hmm. enough it was kind of doing the same option a couple times and then switching, which I will be the first to admit that as a player, I'm, I'm definitely guilty of that too. Way easier to call it out when you're not the one playing, but I, you know, being good at going through your offensive options is one of those things you have to get good at to get good at Unist and, and just fighting games in general. So I agree. I agree. All right. All right. Oops. So we got... We so we got a couple ads for you guys. So first up is Devil's Landing. Devil's Landing. Devil's Landing is basically the Killer Instinct version of Tension Pulse RVE. However you want to, however you want to say it, you know what I mean. Um, great commentary, great players every Saturday, every Saturday, and they they are rolling strong, guys. If you love you some Ki, if you love you some Ki, and you want to support the scene, or maybe you just want to try and Watch something else. You, you you want something fresh to watch? Check out Devil's Landing every Saturday, five p.m. five p.m. Eastern. Peep it. It's real good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. They've been going for nearly as long as we have, and uh, we kind of actually talked a lot when they were getting set up. So this is something they're real nice guys. Uh, definitely check out. I like what they, you know, I like their setup. I've dropped in to watch uh, a couple times, and like their ad says, they've got emotes now. So. If you're hey. if you've got some time on Saturday, uh, you know, right around 5 p.m. Eastern, definitely drop in and give them a watch. Absolutely. All Let's right. See. So uh, we got LFG Lounge Food Games, my man. Looking for a way to start your December off. He's looking for a way to start your December off right. They are bringing it in straight on the first. They are bringing it in straight on the first monthly series, ten dollar venue. Ten dollars per game, and they have all the games, man. They have your st- they have they have everything. Samurai Showdown, BB Tag. I know you guys want to play some of that BB Tag. My boy Susano <laughs> is in the game. Susano with no seals, guys. If that yeah. doesn't sound fun to you, I don't know what does. But they got the units. They got the MK. They have everything. Show up and support if you can, my man. It's in it's in Michigan, Royal yep. uh, Royal Oak, Michigan come through and pull up start your december off right and uh 
It is worth noting that Uni is being run as a beginner intermediate tournament, which means mostly uh, you won't get bullied by White Beast. Uh, you won't get bullied by Millie. You won't get bullied by Ju. They are uh, staying out of this one. So I'm saying I don't know what a- they're talking about. I'm definitely I'm definitely entering. I've. Hey, yeah. heck yeah, that's what's up. So uh, Miller is providing stickers as a prize, and White Beast will be also providing a fifty dollar uh, prize of his hard earned money from the rest of the. Uh, neutral ground uh tournament series so come on by and take some of that money that weiss beast has been taking from you for most of the year (laughs) yeah and uh last up we have a tournament that's coming where is it at uh toledo ohio so as far as i'm aware geographically this is pretty close to michigan too uh this is a tournament right at the beginning of december uh, okay. they'll be they'll be running a lot of stuff. They're running Unis, Street Fighter, Tekken. Uh, I mean, you can see a whole bunch of the games along the bottom. Uh, real nice people. Uh, definitely, if you're in the area, consider showing up. It seems like it's going to be a really good time. Nice. And uh, yeah, well, it looks like so we've got our players in the lobby. Uh, oh, man. So and let's see. And yeah. Moose and uh, Takashi, huh? Yes. So this I, is Wald versus Hyde. I am not familiar Hyde. with this matchup at all. I, I had no nothing about Wald versus Hyde. Does, do do you have any experience with either of these characters? Because I I do not. I've been watching uh, vods of this matchup, and uh, I guess I don't know what I I don't know. Uh, I am terrible at fighting Wald and. The only wald in the area for us is queen of moths so i you know she's at she's at school now and it's not like i get to play her very often we're not even from the same state oh dang um, i got to play i got to play at climax of the night i got to play we we kind of been at the same majors like we've been going to the same majors and stuff for a while now and we just haven't sat down and actually got to play each other so i sat down and played her right before i played like i think it was spinach right before i played spinach and no mm-hmm. she's 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 really cool. She's 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 really she's really she's really nice. Definitely really nice, and she's really fun to play against. She has a she definitely goes a little ham with the wall. She definitely goes a little ham with the three sixties, but we love her all the same. <laughs> but straight up, Takashi versus Ant Moose. I Ant Moose has actually been progressing and kind of getting good, uh, getting better as time goes on. I've been catching him on I've been catching him on the on the ladder. I've been catching him on the ladder uh, every once. And my man's is leveling up. He still doesn't know how to get around in Kido 4C, but <laughs> but he does his damnness. I, I'll be damned if I don't give him props for trying. I mean, that's that's probably rough for him, right? Waldstein likes to approach in the air a lot of times because it's hard for a lot of characters to anti-air that properly. And with the hurt box retraction, wow, oh. nice TRM right off the bat. The, the gold wall, bro. Like this, this is the tech. This he's using oh, legitimately the Watson Abi tech. So for those of you guys who don't know what the Watson Abi tech is. You pick the wall. You pick the gold wall color because his big giant ass claws actually kind of obscure the uh, gold ring, so he can land 360 Bs a bit more often. It's pretty much all for the all for the sake of 360 B. It's the same reason some uh, Batista players use a yellow color because the uh, the yellow gem explosions will hide the TRMs or the gold throws. I see what you did there. It'll hide. <laughs> the in the cold yeah, room. exactly. I, I, I respect it. Straight up, right now, right now, Takashi has the corner, dropping some damage. Nice you got to be careful. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wald actually has really, really nice anti airs, and they start oh, yeah. up with the, the head in bowl on them. Start up relatively quick, actually, compared to what you may believe. And uh, this is something I'm guilty of. You got to be watching when you assault at someone that's got CS. Agreed. Always, you need to be careful about that because it's right. for a lot of characters. It's just very easy to. Absolutely. Three sixty B. Three sixty B. The tech is being utilized to the full extent. God press. Gets him with the God press. From wall to wall, corner to corner, around the world. My man's back to mid screen a little bit. All right. Nice. I like the JC using the JC to erase the projectile. That's yep. um. That's one of Wald's uh, uh properties on properties on some of his normals. If he hits it, if he hits it with his claw, he'll actually just erase the projectile. Oh, chain shift. 
Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Headbutt. Yep. Absolutely. Takes the first game. I told you guys, Ant Moose is Ant Moose is out here getting dangerous. My man is definitely getting his reps in. So Takashi, yeah. I think Takashi wasn't policing the jump as much as he should have, especially yeah. considering Hyde's three C is godlike. What a good well, anti air button that is, yeah. You know, reaches all the way to the health bar from reaches all the way to the health bar. So I'd like to see Takashi run up, you know, maybe represent the three C a little more. But um but other than that, I think he was trying to do him pretty okay. But let's see how he gets into it this game. Ooh, all right. Nice. Oh he J6C, almost goes yeah. J six C drops the conversion. Oh we got a red beat here. Okay. Red beat and and you know uh I guess nice, high players and, I guess high players and in Kido players both can't count bounces. We both have that problem. <laughs> oh. no. All right. What's the option here? Oh, the shimmy. The wall shimmy? <laughs> Yo, what is this tech? What is the, What is this grappler shimmy shit? No. Oh. oh. Shimmy's the oh, DP. No. Whips the 360 and gets 6-2-3-C. All right, all right, yo, these shimmies, these shimmies are next level though. My man baited it. My man baited a whiff grab, and he also <laughs> baited a DP with the wall shimmy. This is hot. Nice, right, nice three C. I'm liking this. Yeah, you can't Waldstein. You cannot let him just jump in on you because that's how. Oh, good. Yeah, if Waldstein can jump in on you for free, I feel like he's not nearly as scared as he should be. Absolutely. Walls Walls should be playing footsies. Walls, um, if when you when you put them in a position where they have to, they are generally gonna play like a pseudo zoner and they're yeah. gonna try and use their long disjointed normals to kinda harass you and then try and find opportunities to get to like assault him. But Ant Moose has just been jumping in for free. I like I'm happy that oh. Takashi Oh the belly splash! Take that. There we go. Yeah. Alright, alright, there we go. Now we got oh. ourselves a game, people. This this set this this set the set is going down now. It has officially started. Oh no! Uh, I feel like I feel like he wanted EX Fireball. I feel, I feel like, like he, he did too. Fireball. That was it. Wasn't like he was doing anything. I I feel like he wanted EX Fireball too. Yeah. All right, Takashi, going back going back to character select screen. Possibly um, picking a different color. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm thinking he's picking a different color, or he's or he's just trying to take you know trying to take a little bit of time. Yeah. And reevaluate what's going on. Um, that was definitely a two three six C, and I'm and I want to say I'm fairly certain it might have whiff punished, cause uh, cause Ant Moose did whiff a button at that period at, at that moment in time, so it could have whiff punished, but it's guaranteed to give him his turn. It's yep. guaranteed to allow him to play offense. But <laughs> we got some but people blowing up in the chat because they're not picking Park. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like we picked an even more complicated stage. That's up to B whiffs straight up straight out the gate, going straight for Takashi's ankles. Whiffs nice gets jump. a nice yep, gets a nice assault JC in. Alright. Alright. Playing offense. I right, well, really like to see Takashi slow down a little bit. So Takashi's yeah. costing himself the costed himself a lot of grid. Gave Ant Moose gave Ant Moose the vocal cycle right there, basically. Yes, I agree. If he's giving himself a little bit more time, maybe breaking up his strings, making him smaller, he can bait out more green shields, take the cycle for himself. Oh no! Oh man, the VO, the VO whiff right there, and now Wald is about to go crazy. Yes, I like this. I like combo and I, I like combo and infinite worth. Not only because you know it's the damage, but it's gonna kill the rest of Takashi's bar as well. Yep. We just okay. run, we run up DP. Catches him with the DFC. Absolutely. Assault All right, JC. this is the round. If he doesn't... Uh, as long as I... Uh, shouldn't have said anything. I was going to say, as long as he doesn't drop it, but the commentator's curse, it happens. But he catches the shield again. All right. I like the walk back. Just kind of trying to see uh, what how Ant Moose wants to start these rounds off. Uh, yep. Giving himself a little bit of distance, not trying to play too quick. 623B, I like that he's representing I like that he's representing it early in the set. Cause that's Ooh. gonna set the tone and it's gonna probably give him a little bit more breathing room on his wake ups. Um now that he's shown that he's willing to six two three B on his. Yep. Alright. Goes for the overhead, gets block uh gets it blocked and then uh, goes into EX wow. keep himself safe. 360A, gotta respect the butter churning. 
All right. I like the neutral. I like how they're kind of like feeling each other, spacing out and stuff, walking back and forth, playing the footsie game. I'm, I'm really liking this set right now. Yeah. Good block uh, on ICFF. I also like that Takeshi, like immediately after that big long block string where he lost all that grid, he started going up and mixing up the throw right away because it, you know, either he's doing a one a he's doing a one ad, or yeah. he's uh, just shielding your hits right off the bat and like. Some sometimes sometimes it works. Sometimes you get a whole bunch of grid right off your opponent's pressure, and other times you get thrown and blown up for it. Absolutely. Well, nice stuff. Takashi, uh, Takeshi finally taking uh, taking the first game. I don't want to yep. say finally. It's only three games in, so it's it's two one. It's, it's, it's two one right now. Really nice adjustment from Takeshi. I think hitting the character select screen, giving himself a time, a little bit of time to breathe, really helps. Yeah. Right out the gate, the shenanigans. Whiff in the three sixty a. Let's go. All right. Just playing footsie, just kind of trying to just move it around each other's options, just making each other whiff at this point. Ant Moose wins Ooh. that Warble Cycle. Oh my goodness. What? How? I don't. It, was it possibly the assault? Um, it could. It definitely could have been the assault. Or I think Takeshi, like, he was walking back and forth. He's kind of walking back and forth. Which, yeah. while it doesn't necessarily lose you grid, it stifles your Ooh. natural grid temporarily. He shimmies out of the way of that VO and, and takes the round off of it. He's still salty about them game one shimmies, bro. He had to get him back. <laughs> yeah. But all right, straight out the gate. Ant Moose already finding hits. Opens him up with another 2B right there. And now a JC. First significant and first clean hit that he's going to get and actually convert into a combo. Goes into a reset with the overhead. Doesn't oh. change him to convert off of it. Oh, man. This round this round could have been over. 2, Wait, 3, 6, C. You know, what? Yeah. You know, Was actually, that an input error? No, 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 no. Actually, sometimes they do that. 2 3 6 is actually really, really fast on startup. So some people use it kind of like a kind of like a, a, a poke out, kind of like a poke out sometimes. That was ballsy. I'll give him that. <laughs> All right, uh, nice. Gets anti-aired. Yep. Let's see if Ant Moose Ant Moose is going to be able to get a solid conversion. Oh, man. Takashi, uh, Takeshi, I, I'm really surprised that he um, didn't notice right there. Ant Moose used all of his bounces, which is exactly why Ant Moose went for the overhead reset. He utilized all the bounces at that point, and so he was just gonna try and he's gonna try and get something else out of it. Oh, 360 C. <laughs> That's that game. Oh my God, my man got hit with the slam jam. Yeah. Oh damn. God, I love those spins. This so oh, it's so cheesy, bro. It's, I love it when oh, I'm not it's getting so hit good. by it. You, you know what? You know what? That's fair. That's fair. Just like <laughs> I, I love, I love Heavenly Potemkin. Watching people get hit with Heavenly Potemkin. Oh Potemkin boy! Costume, as long as that person is not me. Especially in in Strive, it looks sick. It. I heard it takes like five years for the whole animation though. Like real talk, pretty sure it's like fifteen seconds. Goodness, what? I I saw someone linked it. Just the animation, and it was like a 13, 14 second video. That's insane. I love it. <laughs> Man. So Ant Moose right now. Ant Moose really bringing it to uh, bringing it to Takeshi right now. Man, it's yeah. assaulting, assaulting over his low pokes. Takeshi still not really been able to make Ant Moose afraid of the three of the threat that three C should represent. Right now, oh. Ant Moose has the corner. Takeshi sitting here holding all of this pressure right now. Nice. It's a nice throw off that green shield. Yep. Good conversion here. Absolutely. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that drop oh, is gonna cost him the round. It cost him a round and a hundred meter to go with. That, those are the worst, uh, man. When you spin bar to die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate that so much. All right. Nice assault, Ja. Oh, catches a mashing. What was he mashing there? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. But my man got clipped with the counter hit 2C though. 3.3k. Nice VO on the assault. All right. Oh, wait. Okay. Just wasn't a reset, but I mean, it, this it, is a great spot for Ant Moose to be. It was it was a reset because he, he used both bounces. The overhead took a bounce and then the uh, the two through six C, the, the wall slap yeah. also. So he had to he had to go for it. He had to go for the reset. I think Takeshi's getting a little impatient. Uh, I definitely saw him do 
Maybe it wasn't wake up, but he did a real questionable two three six C there, trying to get yeah. the EX orbiter out. Um, and he he got his wake up DP baited by Ant Moose just standing. And if Ant Moose had put out a button to to medium, he definitely would have hit that. But uh, it seems oh, like yeah. Ant Moose has just kind of slowed himself down. And uh, I'd like to see Takeshi slow slow down his wake up a little bit. Now, do you want to see him slow? Do you want to see him slow down? See, I, I want to see Takeshi. I want to see Takeshi speed up and like start going and start going in more. Takeshi's been yeah. fairly passive and just trying to zone wall, throw projectiles two two A two two B. Um, I feel like he's found plenty of success going up close and getting in Ant Moose's face. Yeah. Okay, so maybe what I'd like is a little more blocking on Wake Up because not blocking on Wake Up wasn't working for him as well that match. Yeah. I agree. Uh, Ooh, 623B. Oh my gosh. See, now now I, I, I still respect the fact that he's representing the DP because it's yeah. still something that you want to do. But now he's now he's going to the again, he's there's another person going to the well just one too many times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come through, you know. Take a couple sips and be on your way, man. Like you can't, you you don't need to do this every time just because it worked. Um, gotta get in the habit. Gotta get in the habit of trying to block your way out of situations. If you're really that scared, try and win Vorpal and then guard thrust Ant Moose off you. Force him to work his way back in. But nice two three six C. It ends up beating the uh, it's up beating the two three six B right there from Wald. Something I'd like to see. Yeah, that was good. That was actually kind of exactly what I was gonna say. Is uh, one thing you can do as an option to, uh -huh. like with Waldoki, is you can just jump over him because two of his three reversal options get beat by just a regular jump over. Actually, like, all of his reversal options get beat by that. I thought the sw I thought six two three would hit that if you. Uh, uh if you up is if you up forward if as long as you up forward, it whiffs. Okay, so that's because Wald steps forward. He steps forward before he swings. The claws don't swing. Over his head, over and behind his head, necessarily. He takes a yeah. step forward before he starts swinging, so that's why you can just jump over it. That's definitely something I'd like to see. I mean, it's it's not going to make a big difference in the, the course of the game, but like one thing to give him less uh, command grab options, right? I agree. I agree. But moving our way into what is this, the seventh game now? Yeah, moving our way into the seventh yep. game. Um, I'm really interested in seeing how Takeshi decides to open this round up. Started off with the 6B, but ends up getting clipped by Wald early on. All right. I feel like Wald is one. He's so hard to fight if you don't have, like, a lot of Wald experience and you're fighting at any half decent Wald. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's so scary because, I don't know. You're not, not sure gonna... where you can contest his normals, right? Even though oh, they're yeah. slow, they, they are big and they are disjointed in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Just, just like what happened right there, man. Yep. Like Takeshi, like Takeshi's getting is really uncomfortable. You, you're, you're absolutely right. You can kind of see, um, you know, the discomfort in some yeah. of the things Takeshi's doing. But hopefully, he can. Um, so I feel like the best thing to do, and this is with any matchup, if you don't know what the other character does completely, it's best to just try and forego trying to figure out their game plan and just yep. try and implement your game plan as effectively as possible. Like, as stupid as it sounds, like, how can you play the game if you don't know how they play the game? It's it's your best bet. Like, it's the best thing that you have. Yeah. Um, but Takeshi, man. Oh, dude. He, he's pushed he pushed so many buttons that round. So many <laughs> buttons. Got counter hit so many times. Uh, returning the character select. This is the last. This is the last. Uh, this is potentially, you know, set point for Ant Moose or, you know. Yeah, set point for Ant Moose. Um, Takeshi, he's, he's, he was doing such a good job early on, man, doing, playing really nice offense, going up, getting the 6B, you know, going up for the 6B, going up, uh, throwing out the 3Bs and stuff like that. Um, one thing that I haven't seen him do that I kind of, I've seen, um, Dinico do against, uh, against Watanabe is he will actually use like 6-6C to whiff punish things. He'll actually actively use 6-6C to whiff punish things because he knows um, you know, Walt's yeah. buttons are really disjointed. So if Walt whiffs, go ahead and 660. My man is really upset that they're not playing park right now. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Wait, did they pick park? Are they actually no, playing? No, they picked no. the water fountain again. Again. Another one. All right. God, God press. press. Round press. Round start. God press. All right. Nice, Ooh, nice anti-air. 
Oh, J2C. Oh, oh we missed oh. the opportunity to get the green, get the green shoot scoop. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, this. Oh man, he's he's, he's getting so many opportunities. He got so many opportunities at that green shield. <laughs> Ant moves with the force function. I can't believe he. Yeah. Bro, my man is chucking boulders. I think that's an OS, like F F A D O S. I'm pretty sure that's the thing. Yeah. I see JC. This should be the round. This is actually a really damaging start. Oh, not be drops Ooh. it. Wake up two three six C. All right. He's, he's, he's got he's got to play some. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I was gonna say he has to play the spacing game, but he ends up getting clipped. All right, this is game point. I mean, this is set point for Ant Moose right now. Really nice footsie game from Ant Moose. Takashi, Takashi still just getting lost in the sauce, miss spacing himself a little bit. Yeah. Respect oh, yeah he's think... he's kind of trying to skip neutral a little bit by just jumping in, and I definitely understand that feeling. But like the first time he anti aired you when you did a back jump assault forward mm -hmm. with JC, don't do it the second time. Oh my gosh, 360 C. The butter has been churned. Yeah. And the set has been ended. Can't believe Takeshi died of high cholesterol. That's crazy. <laughs> it's so, man, bro, it's, just, it's too much butter for one man to take, bro. The butter wall, the 360 spins, it, it, it's too much. It's too yeah. much. But, oh man, it's, oh, that was such a, that was such a heartbreaker. Primarily because, primarily because I feel like Takeshi, like at one point, I felt he was, I felt like it was clicking for a second. Like he was doing, he was, he was running some really good offense, going up, getting the delayed assaults and things like that. Yep. And you know, but then he, he fell back into, I think he got command grabbed on wake up a couple times. And then I think he let that dissuade him from continuing to press the offensive, uh, yeah. continue to press the offensive. And he fell back into trying to go for two, two A's, two, two B's, two, three, six A's and trying to zone wall when wall and then and then that just opened up the game for a ant moose to kind of us jump and assault over everything um but how did you feel about that set man um so i want to point out i definitely feel like uh first takeshi had some good abare uh some of those two three six c's that i thought he was crazy for actually worked out really well mm -hmm. um i i like you were calling what well, you were saying i like representing dp as an option you don't want people to get complacent and think they can do whatever on your wake up if you've got a meterless dp mm -hmm. and and he definitely was getting hits with it too so it was not bad to do it sometimes you just gamble and you lose um yeah, absolutely and his three c's were on point uh let's be honest i feel like most of the time he tried to anti-air the jump in it actually ended up working out yeah and he so, got it and he got the counter like that yes uh so so good three C's, but like, uh, I think what Ant Moose did was for the most part, he slowed it down when he needed to. Like mm -hmm. I, I looked at that last round and when he, he does jump back assault forward JC and he hits him out of the air and he doesn't move forward. He doesn't try to press that. He just kind of let Takeshi hang himself by doing the same approach again and hitting him with the same button. So, um, yeah, I I feel like uh, pretty pretty good approaches from uh, Ant Moose in general. I, combos were great. I I think even some of your Obare was nuts. That that Boulder in the last round, I that was wild. I didn't know. know what was happening. I, I believe that I believe that's an OS. I've seen Watanabe do like FF. I think it's FFAD, yeah. and because I, I think because doesn't Boulder like the startup of Boulder have Head and Vol or something? I think it does. I think it might. Yeah. I think. I think. Uh, you know, I have it open. Hit. Let me. Let me check. Let's see, Boulder. Uh. We have confirmation from Sevs. We have confirmation from Sevs that FFAD is a thing. All right. Thank you, okay. my man. But yeah, FFAD. I know. I know FFAD exists, and it's a very. So it's a very solid option. But man, ah, dude. It, um. So like Takashi, Takashi, like Takashi, like you say, he played well. He played well, but I feel like he just didn't like at some point, I think he just got discouraged, like I said, by getting command grabbed. And then he was like, you know what? I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm done trying to run in on you. I'm going to try and zone you and freaking, you know, and, uh, and Ant Moose was like, no, I'm zoning you. He used like, he utilized those disjoints really effectively to get a lot of counter pokes and yep. set to catch you up in situations where he was, uh, wasn't comfortable, where he was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I really would have liked to see Take seen Takeshi punish those. Uh, what's it called? The the god the god presses though. The god presses. You know, I really yeah, would have liked to see the assault like assault punish those. So. It's I reactable. I mean, and it's it's easy to say it again. Uh, it's just one of those things that you need to learn to do uh, mm -hmm. in the wild matchup is be watching for the god press. It helps if you think about all the time. Actually, no, I don't think it does. It's, I play charge characters in other games, and really thinking about back charge is probably not super useful because that could be literally any time in a block string or at any point. But yes, uh, reacting with the jump, hitting him. I agree. That, that goes a long way to people that are using a lot of god press. Absolutely. So let's see. Uh, so I can tell you right now that... Uh, Next week, we are taking the week off um, Thanksgiving in America. So uh, since both myself and Ju are in America and we'll probably be doing stuff. As with if family. I'm not in America, that's crazy. Well, <laughs> you're not you're not the one that has to set up the matches or make the graphics. We all know that 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 the people come for the frost. Come oh, they do. They, 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 they... <laughs> it was a big night. Just look at the viewers tonight. It's a big night. But yeah, so we're we're taking the week off. We will be back the following week. Um, yeah, so we don't have anything to show, but uh, the, as soon as we have a matchup set for that first week of December, I'll definitely be tweeting that out as soon as possible. All right, nice, man. Nice. Thank you guys so much for coming and thank you all for having me back for another week yeah. on RVE. I appreciate you guys so much for the opportunities to be here. It's always fun. And it's Absolutely. actually nice to get to commentary commentate with one of you guys from like behind the scenes. You know what I mean? That's actually yes. pretty fun. No, it's uh so the a little bit of uh background on this is last time I did commentary, we just had a last minute dropout. This time I kind of was well, honest to God, I was just kind of lazy about finding a second commentator and so i said <laughs> I'll, I'll do it this time but i, uh, I, I, I had a great time uh yeah thanks thanks for doing commentary frosty uh frosty is awesome he is always like if i'm worried about finding someone i know as long as you're not already scheduled there's a good chance that you'll be able to help and it's a big help for the stream and uh i guess no, before I'm... we get into too much of a big thank each other uh we'll just say to the the viewers Thanks everybody for tuning in tonight. It's always fun streaming. Uh, it's sometimes it's it's a little bit of work getting things all put together, but we love uh, streaming every week. And so, um, yeah, we wouldn't be doing this if people weren't showing up to watch. So, absolutely, thanks to everybody that comes out every Friday. All right, guys. Oh yeah, I know that. Uh, just a quick thing. Sorry, guys. I know this wasn't scheduled, but. Red Bull Conquest Championships this weekend. Oh, yeah. Red Bull Finals are this weekend. Show up and support everyone who, you know, who made out to those events and actually want, and if, uh, and actually like participated and won. There's going to be so much stuff. There's Findo, there, there's Findo, there's Spinach, there's Findo, there's Spinach, there's Otashi. Um, spinach is coming for Red Blade. There's Red Blade, you know what I mean? Show Royal up, Heart, yep. and show up and support and show Red, uh, show Red Bull that we love our game and we love the opportunities that they are presenting to us, guys. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we are sending you off to another stream. So thank you, everybody, for watching. It's been an awesome night. Sets were really fun to watch, really fun to commentate. And we hope to see you again back in December. Peace, y'all. Later. We out.